Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease is a degenerative fatal brain disorder. This disorder is very rare and only affects around one person in every one million per year worldwide. The U.S. has about 350 cases of CJD annually. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease typically occurs during the later parts of life, and it doesn't take long until the victim dies. The symptoms often occur when the victim is around the age of 60. About 70% of those with CJD die within a year. During the early stages of this disease, people often experience failing memory, visual disturbances, and sudden changes in their behavior. During the early stages of it, people may have failing memory, poor judgment, difficulty thinking, behavioral and personality changes, difficulty with muscle coordination, and visual disturbances. After a while, the patient may start to experience increasing mental deterioration, weakness, involuntary movements, impaired vision, or total blindness, weakness of extremities, and possibly a coma. Patients may also experience depression, insomnia, and other strange sensations. The longer the illness goes on, the more severe the mental impairment becomes. The patient will eventually be unable to speak. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease can be categorized into three major types. The first type, sporadic CJD, appears even when the patient has no known risk factors. This is the most common type of it and is responsible for 85% of cases. Then there is hereditary, in which the patient tests positive for a genetic mutation associated with the disease and has a family history of the disease as well. Hereditary cases make up about 10 to 15% of cases of CJD in the USA. Finally, there is acquired Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, which occurs when the disease is transmitted through exposure to the brain or nervous system. This is usually transmitted during medical procedures. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease is part of a family of human and animal diseases known as the transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, or prion diseases. A prion, deserved from protein and infectious, causes CJD in people and TSEs in animals. Brains that have been infected with prion disease typically have a lot of holes in them, making them look like sponges when they are observed through a microscope, which is why it is referred to as spongiform. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease is caused by abnormal forms of normal cellular proteins called prions. Proteins are long chains of amino acids that have to fold together into a unique shape or conformation to gain function in the cells. The infectious prion originates from a normal protein whose conformation has changed to one that causes the disease. The normal prion protein is found throughout the body, but it is most abundant in the nervous system. Its role is not completely understood. It is believed that the harmless to infectious protein conformational change is common to all major forms of human prion disease, including Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. In the acquired form of the disease, the abnormal prions come from the outside of the body, for example, through contaminated meat. It clings to a normal prion protein of the host and changes its conformation. It then spreads towards the brain where it causes lesions. In the hereditary form, infectious prions can arise when a mutation occurs in the gene for the body's normal prion protein. As the mutated prion replicates itself, it changes shape into the infectious form. Prions do not contain genetic information and do not need genes to reproduce. If the prion protein gene is altered in a person's sperm or egg cells, the mutation can be transmitted to the person's offspring. Several different mutations in the prion gene have been identified. The particular mutation found in each family affects how frequently the disease appears and what symptoms are most noticeable. However, not all people with mutations in the prion protein gene develop Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. In the sporadic form, the infectious prions are made by an error of the cell machinery that makes proteins and controls their quality. These errors are more likely to occur with aging, which explains the general advanced age at the onset of CJD and other prion diseases. Once they are formed, abnormal prion proteins aggregate or clump together. The only way to diagnose this disease is by brain biopsy or autopsy. Currently, there is no known treatment that can cure or control Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. However, studies of a variety of drugs are now in progress. Current treatment for CJD is aimed at easing symptoms and making the person as comfortable as possible.